Hey, John, it might be like the worst kept secret on local TV. The fact that we love to eat here on Living 808. <laughs> yes, we do. So when we found out about a dairy farm that produces some of the best homegrown produce, you know we had to check it out. Yeah, of course. Surfing Goat Dairy is a farm in Kula on the island of Maui, and they produce some of the best goat cheeses and so much more. Here to give us the 411 on what they offer, we have Thomas Kapsack, owner of the Surfing Goat Dairy. Good morning, Thomas. Thank you so much for coming on Living 808. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Now, let's just get straight into it. Tell us about the history yeah. of Surfing Goat Dairy. That goes back to 99 when we bought the property and uh, it took us two years to, to build everything, put in irrigation and fencing and reseeding and building a barn and the dairy building. And since beginning of 2002, we were allowed, we had all the permits and then we were selling cheese up to now. And in, over the years we have won 18 national awards at this national cheese competition. We are now at over 30 different cheeses we produce. You have a lot of products that you offer at the Surfing Gold Dairy. Tell us more about those products. The first product line um, are cheeses, and they're the most cheeses we are selling are this fresh chef, here, plain and flavored. Feta was used at the inauguration dinners for President Obama. Second product line, which is doing very well too, are goat cheese truffles. So we replace cow's milk butter and heavy cream with goat cheese and, and the ganache of these chocolate truffles. And so they taste so much better because goat cheese can carry a flavor better than butter here and that sells very good and we make over 50 different ones here but usually in average we have uh, between 20 and 30 for sale every day wow. and third line is our goat's milk soaps there we have way over 20 different scents all right thomas well in addition to all of the amazing goat cheeses that you guys offer you also offer some tours tell us about those tours yeah, right now we are only allowed to do casual tours where our guests can first pet and, and feed some goats with hay and then uh, the, the uh, host shows them uh, where the goats are milked and shows them how the cheese is made. I hope when the restrictions are gone that we can do this. Okay. Well, hopefully soon we can come out to the farm, take a tour, enjoy the beautifulness of Maui. But in the meantime, if anybody wanted to learn a little bit more about Surfing Goat Dairy, is there a website that we could log on to or even social media accounts we could follow? We are on Facebook and Instagram and uh, constant contact and uh, trip advisors. But otherwise, they can go on our website, surfinggoatdairy as one word, dot com. Here, and then they can learn a lot about the history of the farm, about the products, and then they can buy every single product. Even we started in October and a campaign Adopt a Goat, and there are, I think, seven goats left which can be adopted from our 100 goats we have right now here. And uh, so, that's what they can do on the website too. All right, Thomas, well, you had me at adopt a goat. I don't know what my family's gonna think about that, but hopefully after this interview, they will be persuaded into having a goat in our household. But other than that, everybody, we're gonna have more information on kh12.com. Thomas, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your story. Um, and we will talk to you very soon. Surfing goat dairy, I could literally get a spoon and just eat it out of there. I don't even need a cracker or anything. It is so delicious and creamy, and now I'm craving it. Now I have an excuse that I need to go over to Maui and check it out. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I have to say that I don't know if I've ever had goat cheese, to be honest. Really? I, I'm not sure. I really don't know. You but would know. You know what, know. I, you you know know. what I do want more of? What?
listening to his voice. I know, right? <laughs> it was it was uh, lulling me. It was very comforting. Like I just felt yes. like I needed a glass of hot cocoa and some, you know, like. Hello. I'm sure he doesn't want it to be about him. He wants it to be about the goat cheese, but still. No, absolutely. But uh, him telling the stories behind it, really enjoyed that. So thanks, Mikey, for bringing yeah. it in. Check out Surfing Goat Dairy. I tell you, it is delicious and supporting a great local company. All right. This